and no one else shines. I think everybody shines in different things. And a lot of things I can't do. I can't play basketball like every other black person in America. But I can act. I, I know how to go to that true spot in myself because I'm there every day. I can be me. I can be whoever because I'm true to me. I can go to neutral easily. A lot of people, black, white, Mexican, young or old, fat or skinny, have a problem being true to themselves. They have a problem looking in the mirror and looking directly into their own souls. The reason I sell six million records, the reason I can go to jail and come out without a scratch, the reason I can walk around, the reason I am who I am today is because I can look directly into my face and find my soul. It's there. It's not sold. I didn't sell it. It's still within me. I still feel it. My heart is still connected to my body. So I, I could, any character I'm going to bring, that intensity, that truth, that honesty to it because I have to repay for, for that blessing from black Jesus, from God. I have to pay for that by shining. If he give you the, the voltage and you waste it, that's the curse. If he gave me the voltage, I'm a shine. It's not mine. It's, it's from God. It's God. Not that it's so special that nobody got it, but all of our gifts and blessings and, and our strengths and our weaknesses come from God. Come from black Jesus or whoever comes from within you. You know what I mean? So... It's not really tricky. It's, everybody can do it if they just can go to that spot. I guess all the things that happened to me in my life allow me to go there easier. Now, if you're not dark inside and you come to this, this world, it'll turn you dark. You know what I'm saying? And so if you really have sunshine in you, it's not good to play in the dark. It's, it's, it's just going to extinguish your fire. Um, believe in yourself and don't let nobody stop you from doing what you got to do. You got to have faith. If you, if you can't find faith in the world, find faith in God. Respect. How would you say that your life has been? What would you say about your life? How would you define it? I would say it's been like a test on my faith. You know what I'm saying? You know, I guess his name is Job in the Bible, who God just did all this crazy stuff to him just to make sure his faith was straight. And that's how it was. It made me, if I didn't have all of this stuff, I don't think that my feet would have been so um, firm to where I could stand up for anything, you know, and I would be um, less ready to deal with what's out there. Yeah. So, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job, is to spark somebody else watching us. We, we might not be the ones, but let's not be selfish. And because we're not going to change the world, let's not talk about how we should change it. I don't know how to change it, but I know if I keep talking about how dirty it is out here, somebody's going to clean it up. And people can tell you, you know, don't do this or don't do that, but my, my whole... My state is that if we don't ever go outside of the boundaries, we will never change anything. We will never begin anything. We will never start anything. We'll just keep talking about the people who did it once and told us not to go outside the thing. That's just like I'm telling Christopher Columbus that the world is flat. You know what I mean? I'm doing the same thing. They're telling me you can't do this. You can only rap. And if you rap, you can only rap about this. And then you, can, you can't act. And if you act, you can only do the black films. And, you know, you can't be a, a rap. You can't be an artist or a celebrity and go out still. And you can't be an artist and still have fun and still be true. I don't like that. So I try to go outside the boundaries. Sometimes it's effective. And it's positive. Sometimes it's negative and it blows up in my face. You could be one kind of an artist and you could be another kind of an artist. I want to be an exceptional artist and I want to be here for the longevity. You know, I want to be, when it's over, I want it to be more than just for the beats and the bass lines. I want it to be for something. I want to stand for something, you know. I don't want to be just a regular statistic, you know what I'm saying? I want, I want to break the mold. So while everybody's saying how they can't do it, I want to do it. And then when I do it, watch everybody do it. Then I go back to thug and fully again, you know what I'm saying? But right now, I'm a show. I'm, I'm listening to what everybody's saying. What it seems like the whole country is saying. Everybody's is losing people. Everybody's at the cemetery. You know what I'm saying? That's when you can do your best business. So I want to see what I can do to change it. And if I can't, and if it don't work, then you know I'll go another route. But this is just one thing I want to try. Like I got a song called "Me Against the World." It's perfect for all this. Perfect. Me against the world. It's just got nothing to lose. It's just me against the world. Before Thug Life, when you were with Digital, working as a roadie and as and as a dancer, mm -hmm. was that real? When I mean, I just read that you used to like do dance, you know, the dances with the plastic. Dancing with the naked dog. That was me. That's what I mean by I'm real. I'm truly hardcore because I needed the money and I had to work. So if he told me that for me to get paid, I had to go out there in bikini briefs and hop on top of this dog, and that's how I got to get paid. I was homeless at the time. That's what I had to do. You know what what, but what I did was not let him pimp me. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like I just did that because that was my order. As soon as I got the chance to say what was on my mind, 
I said what was on my mind. And we have a platinum record now. You know what I'm saying? So I went from dancing naked with the dogs being unknown to now having a platinum record. You know what I'm saying? And, and now I don't have to never touch another naked dog. I'll never have to dance, jiggle, nothing. I can hire dancers. You know what I'm saying? I got three people dancing. I got have people dancing in the audience. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, you have to work from one point to go to another point. So I admire the work ethic. I think that it should be reinforced throughout our neighborhoods that everybody should work hard. Practice makes perfect. You have to be diligent about what you want. You have to apply yourself. You have to motivate yourself. You have to do it for yourself, by yourself. And then you can do things for other people. But that's what I had to do. I had to do for self. I'm a thug, but I'm a nice person. I'm, I'm a thug by survival. I have to be. I have to survive, not because I want to be. I don't want to hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? I want to be. I want to survive. I want to make money. I want to be in business. I want to do it. But what's honest about the world that no one's going to let me do that. So that's where the thug comes in. But if everybody just left me alone, I'd be a nice person. I'm quiet. I could be calm, quiet, and very into my work, and totally focused, and totally disciplined, and um, boring. You know what I mean? Or I could be fun, 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 but dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Not only to other people, but to myself. Mm -hmm. Because I'm, I'm like a kid in a candy store. All of this is new. I'm 25, you know what I mean? And it's like, got cash, everything you dreamed of. And they've held me back in so many other circumstances that now it's your time to go. And it's, it's kind of hard, difficult to keep yourself from just pressing the gas down all the way. Basically, just taking my time and thinking and analyzing the situations and trying to think before I do things. I'm very passionate, Gemini's, you know, me and Prince and Gemini. I'm nice, Zach. Every motherfucker that gotta have my own. I got to hustle for my own. And any man out there got to feel me. It ain't about milking off the next man. That's a motherfucking hoe. I'm a motherfucking pimp. I'm finna come up on my own. I'm gonna get my own sack. I don't wanna be nobody's worker all my life. I want my own motherfucking kilo. You understand me? So that's what I did. And Shaka Hustler, and I'm a hustler, so everybody understand it. Ain't no one man gonna stay in one spot forever. That's a sucker. I'm a hustler. I'm gonna come up. So I took what little bitty gave me and doubled up and doubled up and doubled up, and I've been doubling since. to God every night. I still do that. I just wanted, um, I wanted God to know that even though I was going through the worst of times, I still recognized it as being something greater than myself. And that I'm not going to give up my faith just because it's going bad for me. Because he was there when I was living good. So I just want him to know that. You know that I'm not no punk. That I'm not soft-hearted. That when it gets bad, I'm going to be like, oh, I don't believe in God no more. I believe in God all the time. Every day, all day. Good and bad, rough and hard, five shots, jail time, everything. Good time, million dollars, bins, it's all that. I always believe in God. Because he gave it all to me. What's up next for you after this project? Forward, up, faster, bigger, taller. I got things that's in front of me, but I won't know till I step in it. Um, again. You have to be logical, you know. If, if I know that in this hotel room they have food every day, and I'm knocking on the door every day to eat, and they tell and they open the door, let me see the party, let me see like them throwing salami all over the, I mean just like throwing food around, where they're telling me there's no food in here. You know what I'm saying? Every day, I'm standing outside trying to sing my way in. You know what I'm saying? We are hungry, please let us in. We are hungry, please let us in. After about a week, that song is going to change the we hungry, we need some food. After two, three weeks, it's like, you know, give me a little food and we're wrecking our door. And after years, you just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm picking the lock, coming through the door, blasting. You know what I'm saying? It's like you hungry. You reached your level. You don't want anymore. We asked 10 years ago. We was asking with the Panthers. We was asking with them. You know, the civil rights movement. We was asking. You know, now that those people that were asking, they're all dead and in jail. So now, what do you you think we're going to do? I would tell each and every person out there, don't forget about that clicking up thing, you know what I mean? Be to yourself. Stay to yourself. Trust nobody. Trust nobody after dog. You know what I mean? Straight up. My closest friends did me in. My closest friends, my homies, people who I done took care of their whole family. I done took care of everything for them, looked out for them, put them in the game, everything turned on me. 
Fear is stronger than love. Remember that. Fear is stronger than love. All the love I gave didn't mean nothing when it came to fear. So it's all good. But I'm a soldier. I always survive. I constantly come back. You know what I mean? Only thing that can kill me is death. That's the only thing that ever stopped me is death. And even then, my music will live forever.